guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is joy and this is my leia welcome to joy's leia um in this video today according to the title you can already guess what's happening so i'm sure most of you have already seen like my first school tour video i have done a video of my i have done a video where i gave you guys a tour of my school and showed you guys like just the basic things like this um arena the breakpoint i didn't like do like detailed like I didn't do a detailed video <laughs> whatever so um today i'm just going to give you guys a more detailed um view of my school so i'm, I'm going to take you guys to the buildings in my school show you guys where like where you can look at some buildings like the basic things like the library the buildings for different departments or faculties and i'm going to take you guys to the rectory building and then to um the hangout areas and then to the school um the student affairs and then the international office for new students so um that's just going to be it for this video so it's going to be like a very short and a precise video straight to the point and so with that i'm ending the introduction hope you guys will enjoy this video um don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe like and comment and i will see you guys in my next video sorry i'll see you guys in the continuation of the video yeah stay to the end and like subscribe basically bye bye <laughs> this is so awkward i don't know why i hate filming videos like this in public because i'm so shy to be like doing all this but this is for you guys so better make sure you like this video and share this video with your friends tell your friends uh, come to joy's channel you enjoy it okay she's crazy but that's like the fun of it you know what i'm saying so um, i'll see you guys in like a minute or two uh yeah so i'm um, in front of the student affairs building or student service building according to what they wrote there so this is the building for the student affairs what basically what happens in this building is um the bank if you want to pay school fees there's a bank inside the nova bank if you want to open an account pay your fees or basically anything like that so you go inside there and then in there also is um the accounting office and then we have the registration office is it registration i think so because like last semester i had one or two issues with my registration and then it directed me to the person in charge of the registration so i think it's here so if you have issues with your student account um yeah with your student account maybe you want to know your school fees debt or your school debt or stuff like that yeah you just you take you join the line then you take there's like a number thingy shenanigan going on there then you take a number then you can see whoever you want to see and then upstairs i think um if you're a new student after you're done um doing your registration in the international office then you can um you can come here and then complete your registration process basically so basically if you have any issues you just come here as a student just come here and then yeah they do the shenanigan for you it's so awkward like i wanted to go inside the building but i'm so shy so i'm not going to go inside so i'll just tell you guys what happens and then if i can go inside and film if i'm allowed to film inside then i'll show you guys what the inside looks like if not then uh yeah bye bye this is the student affairs building and then this is the supermarket i'll show you guys where it looks at the end of the video and then opposite it is the eh building so i think that's a building for um education and um let me go let me go and show you guys what it what it's for so as you can see on that billboard whatever here it's the building for education and humanities faculty of education faculty of art and science and faculty of foreign language so um i think architecture students have buildings here this is the eh building so if you in your timetable you see eh this is the building if you want to look for your course advisors if you want to look for your lecturers if you're in any of these faculties this is the building to go i'm trying to keep the video short so in case it's like i'm talking like very very fast because i've heard people complain that sorry I've heard people complain that oh join your videos are too long think something minutes 30 something minutes and like, okay i'll try to make it as short as possible because i like talk a lot so it's kind of hard for me to not talk a lot and now i'm talking a lot bye 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 if you guys remember this place from the last video but well, i thought when i filmed the last video it was still incomplete and now look how much it has changed oh my god it's super cute this is where um every event that CIE holds now this is where it holds basically this is where the graduation took place if you remember my graduation video if you haven't watched it 
go and watch it so this is like the open is it air center whatever i think this is where everything events hold and then down 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 there that building there that one yeah that's the cia now i'll really show you guys what it looks like so i'm not going to go there today then now i'm heading towards the ec building so if you guys can see how all this is linked that's the ec building that's the eh building this is the arena and then this is the school bus that's all i'll go there later anyways but this is the ec building so we that are in nursing we do have like practical classes here so if you see on your timetable that oh your class is in ec this is it so it's just like two it's, sorry it's a one-story building so okay. moving to the next location now which will most probably be the school the bus stop yeah bye bye so this is the open air center i was telling you about the previous open air center if i'm guessing correctly um so basically uh they call this the palm something i've forgotten the name but yeah so this is where events is to hold and then sometimes in the evening especially during this season where it's like summer spring you see people like come if you if people that skate or that skateboard and whatever you see them come here and then this is the bus center so behind this bush is where you see everything so this is the bus center we have the bus timetable um so every hour every one hour after every one hour the bus moves so there's a bus for gunyali for um hamid koi the hamid koi bus is a separate bus so from like seven o'clock um seven o'clock eight fifteen then uh we have uh 9 30 10 30 11 30 12 30 up until um 3 2 30 then after 2 30 is 3 45 then after 3 45 it's um 5 30 then 7 o'clock then 8 8 20 8 30 then uh 9 o'clock i think or is it 9 30 then 10 30 and then i think 11 45 or something yeah this is hard work you guys so that's the bus stop in case you want to get lost and this is the building that i'm at so um this is where we have all the cafeterias and everything this ah, i was right you guys should give me accolades my guy this bits and bites that's bits and bites and then this is very cool guys this is very cool this one this is one of the places that makes me miss staying in the hostel and then this wake up coffee good coffee i've never tried it out but you know what it's good coffee then this good so everything italiano yes i mean Amigo is Spanish, try don't embarrass yourself. And then that's African gold. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Anyways, that's African gold if you want African cuisines and all of that. And then this is the place I was telling you guys about. Aha, uh -huh, Bufavento. Yes, Bufavento. So if you're looking for Bufavento, this is Bufavento. Dear God, I need to start working out. This is Bufavento, where everything hostel problems situationships you come here and they sort it out for you the campus store so if you move away from Bufavento that is the road that is leading to other hostels I think Bufavento is one of those ones that is like dormitory not like school apartment this is residence halls yeah apartment type residence hall and uh, sport complex so that area which leads to the apartment type hostels and then this area from here like this is the dormitory type hostel and then that's the apartment type hostel over there so that's one where we have um like a three plus one two plus one uh kitchen bathroom room and then uh three rooms some two rooms and uh yeah I don't think there's anyone that's one room. Whatever well, that's one room is in the dormitory type hostel. So I'm showing you guys what the dormitory type hostel looks like. It's very classy actually. Yeah. Basically, you get what you pay for. Oh, I love the I don't know what they were trying to do there, but I love it. It's cute. And I love all the trees and everything. And uh I'm trying to get the names of the apartments. So that's um Vuni. Is it Vuni? What does it say? It says Vuni. So if your dormitory type is Vuni, so your dormitory apartment name is Vuni, that is you. And then if you are not Vuni, let me take you to where you are. <laughs> God, you guys are stuck with me for eternity and I'm, I embarrass myself a lot of times. So you guys have to suck it up. And then this is Kantara. I don't know why I'm doing this stupid accent thing, but this is Kantara. If your apartment name is Kantara, this is how you can look at it. It's very easy. Just uh, 
from there you come here and that's Cantara and uh, I think there's one last one let me get the name and then I'll take you guys to uh, the apartment type dormitories or I'll just take you to the architecture building which is just like beside me there's a lot of trees going on there I can't I can't I can't you guys if you can't by yourself so if you're not if you're not Bufavento if you're not Cantara if you're not Funi that is you I can't go that far I'm sorry I don't know what's supposed to happen here but <laughs> Jesus Christ but yeah bye so as I was saying just like how everywhere in North Cyprus is connected all the roads are linked everywhere in CRU Cyprus International University is also linked and connected in some way or the other so um I think this is like the medical that building over there that's one that looks like a concentration camp yeah it uh, this is the concentration camp building uh this is the architecture building and i think sometimes turkish classes hold here i think i've had one or two turkish classes here so uh i want to ask somebody but i'm so shy to ask anybody what department have classes here but i think like dentistry is it dentistry yeah dentistry sorry dentistry uh architecture probably um medical is it medicine? What what do they call that? After nursing medicine, uh -huh, the, I think they have classes here too. I can't ask nobody. I'm so shy, guys. So um, one second. Faculty of what? Faculty of medicine. Ha! Huh. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Faculty of medicine, anatomy, laboratory. Oh, this is the lab. The Faculty of medicine and anatomy yeah this is the entrance to the concentration camp building uh -huh. um let me see faculty of law advice me wait so you have faculty of law that isn't what the faculty is in CIU anyways yeah this is the CL building concentration camp so still so CL building so if you're in your timetable you have CL building this is you. Turns out I was leading you guys astray the whole time. This is faculty of medicine and dentistry. So that's probably the other building probably faculty of uh, architecture and probably law or something. I don't know. But figure it out yourselves. That one there. Building. If I'm to guess correctly, this is the school medical center. Bye bye. Then this building, see where it is. And then here. So you guys probably remember this place from the last video. This is the I don't know, Riverside, I don't know what this is, Lakeview. You guys should help me ask Kamala something. What is the worst that will happen if her phone falls inside this water? Yeah, what do you think is, drop your comments, what do you think is what that will happen to me if I drop Pam's phone in this water now? That's the bus stop there. And then this is the entrance or the leading way to the CI International Center and then the school cafeteria. Let me explain. This, this building right here all the arts and shit this is the international center uh student id card international center new student registration so you go up there this building for your initial registration as a new student and then from there on you go to the student affair and then this is the school cafeteria it goes by the name lakeview so if you have an eating plan with the school this is where you go to take your food and then this is break points where it's all games and chill they sell food you can play, I don't, I wanted to say karaoke, but you can't play karaoke here. But yeah, you can play all this arcade or what's it, is it arcade they call it? All these things. Yeah, and that's much more. You go in there, you eat. As the name goes, you munch more. And then this is, uh, what's the name of this building? Sorry, I'm trying to look for the, there's no name. Oh, that's sad. But yeah, they sell good. Now this one, I'm giving you a review from what I've said. They sell very good coffee and uh, what is it? What do they call it? I'm having a mental breakdown, meltdown. Um, smooth, not smoothie, uh, ice, uh, milkshake. Fuck. They sell good milkshakes. And then this is Palm Inn. Very exquisite. I think this is a hotel. 
sort of like upstairs and then downstairs is like a very exquisite luxury restaurant i only see lecturers and big people going there so i don't know what's happening there and then this that's the school bookstore that's our rector right there That is the ST building, the very luxury architectural looking thingy there. That's the ST building in case you have any class in ST. I think that's one for engineering, computer science, all of those. Yes, that is the building right there. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome back to it's a continuation of yesterday's uh, tour, the tour video. Uh, I couldn't finish it yesterday because I was having technical issues. I'm not crying, don't worry about me, guys. It's just my eyes are tearing up. I don't know why. Um, so I will just continue from where I stopped yesterday and uh, I'll end the school tour video or is it vlog today. So stay tuned and I hope you are enjoying it. This is the nature cafe. So as I was saying yesterday, this is the nature cafe. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's school owned, but yeah, one of the hangout area in the school. Uh, yeah, so if you're a fan of nature, this is your go-to hangout spot. This building is the Education and Graduate Studies building, it's the GE building. I have no idea what happens here, but that's the GE building. If you have a class in GE, this is you. And that right there is the CU building, but I'm going to that one, the old looking one, the CU building for social, is it social, I think, yeah, social science uh, and uh, health science faculty. That's you. So you have building C, I'm a class in CU, that is you. I'm going to show you guys from the front. So, that's the library at the end this is the st building it's all linked guys it's very easy to look at these things our school decided to tap into their botanical site and that is the result behold the legendary library of ciu so if you walk in this is the so as i was saying um i think it's locked because it's saturday and uh so basically anyways this is uh where you can find the rector of the school the vice rector um and uh Basically, anybody that you're looking for that's, um, you know, the top guys in the school, that's where you can find them. So if you have any complaints, if you're having issues, not unnecessary complaints though, but, you know, legit ones, you can go there to look for the authorities of the school. Yeah, so um, I'm taking you guys now to the, uh, oh, in this building is also Student Union? Oh, it's not. Okay, it's not. It's not. Um, I'm taking you guys to the building that has this, one second, this, uh, sorry, all these, uh, the Arts and Social Science Center, the Science and Technology Center, and the Construction Laboratory. Um, guys, it's Saturday, so yesterday was Friday, that was when I started this video, today is Saturday, and uh, most of the places are locked, like the library, I'm going to show you guys inside the library, and then inside the student affairs building but it's locked so i couldn't i can't get access to it so maybe when i resume school i would uh, show you guys school has started anyways but i've not 
you don't need to know that anyway so um yeah so what was i saying so today what i'm just going to show you guys is this i'm showing you guys the rector's building i'm going to show you guys the uh science and technology building and then inside of it and then i'm going to take you guys to the apartment type hostels yeah basically bye so that over there is the science and technology building i know from <laughs> from here it really doesn't look like a building but yeah that's the magic in a second you guys will see what it actually looks like inside so this is the building guys and beside it i don't know if you remember that building over there that was like the laboratory for the um, anatomy and whatever whatever people yeah so and then down there is the palm inn i don't know if you guys remember and then this is the sd building and then it's just like parking lots parking 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 and then this guy then this is your favorite youtuber nervous being here i don't know it just feels like this holy sanctuary that um defying or defiling by being here i don't know why it's just scary like that fun fact though this is the rooftop of the building that i was in just now the science and technology building from here you can see the universe <laughs> I feel like the king of the world is scary being up here though it should be someone else's one yeah just appreciate the view the meadow and the grasslands and everything <laughs> 